Jimmy Willis here. We're on Mallard Lake. We're at Winton's Fishery. We're starting a winter campaign, autumn slash winter campaign here at Winton's. I wanted to be on Kingfisher Lake, really, because we're going for my first ever 50 pound carp. First 50, I want it to be a common carp, which is a very hard challenge, but we're kind of giving it a go. Um, but I couldn't get on Kingfisher this weekend. All the lakes are just full up all the time since lockdown. So we're on Mallard. Now a 40 pound, a 40 pound carp did come out of here um, last week. There is, it's really known as a catfish lake this mallard lake there's lots of sort of 80s 70s and 80s coming out all the time over on heron lake they've actually got the biggest catfish on the complex which is just under 100 pound called big bad barry but this mallard lake it does contain around 200 carp in here they're not fish for that much certainly in the summer because it's all the catfish boys come from all over the country i first came across this venue um i think was it late 90s something like that it was a matt hayes and mick brown done one of their fishing programs here for catfish and I remember watching it when I was younger and it was on this exact lake I think it might have even been this peg they were fishing on so um, yeah it's quite exciting to fish on this lake we'll show you what rigs I'm using all pretty simple like we're really after the carp but we have to be geared up heavy just in case we do get them catfish the end of october the catfish are going to start going to sleep because that water temperature is dropping has it quite dropped enough I don't know. I wouldn't mind a catfish. If there's no, if I can't get a carp, I wouldn't mind a catfish. They're a bit uh, yucky, aren't they? But um, <laughs> I don't mind the odd one every year. Right, so what we're using today is one of my muddy worm rods. These are prototypes uh, in development at the moment. We've got a 14,000 size Ultegra XTD. Um, I'm going to do some reviews on these Shimano reels actually. Quick washers have to be in there if you're going to buy them, but we'll do a video on that separately. Two ounce weights, little leg clip set up, pushed on very gently, look. Bit of saliva, nice and gently. We want that leg coming off very easily if you get in trouble. Now rig wise, it's only about five inches that one. A lot of my rigs, I'm experimenting between five and eight inches. That's where I normally go. Sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. We've got size six Kamakura wide gapes. So we've got a barrel sticky baits manila there. They're bottom baits, not wafters. And on some of them, I'm putting a bit of fake cool on the top as well. And it gives it a tiny little bit of movement. I normally generally use wafters for most of my fishing. Um, but we're going for bottom baits because I reckon they're all going to be down there munching away at the moment. I think. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see, won't we? It's not an easy, not an easy venue to catch a carp. I've been around, had a chat with everyone. You know, there's not there, there was a carp come out, I think. Last week there was a 40, I think it was a 20 pounder last night and a couple of cats still coming up. So um, we'll have to kind of see how we get on. I mean, we've got very thick sort of 20 pound line and everything on. That's just geared up in case we do hook one of these big cats because from past experience, they do go. <laughs> they do go. Uh, but yeah, we'll just have to see, won't we? We'll have to see. Horrible weather, I tell you what. It's going to tip it down in a minute, and I think it's forecast heavy rain, wind all weekend. Miserable, miserable, but um, we'll have to see, won't we? We'll have to see. That bit of saliva is very important when you're putting this on, nice and gently. I use these corder um, clips that are all sort of made, what are they called? Hybrid clips, they call them. And they're already made so you don't have to mess about putting them little pins in isn't that annoying when you're fishing you drop the pin and it's all a nightmare i love i'm not a corder fanboy in any way but these really really good they are them corder clips i don't use it with a quick change either i use the you know the the, the actual ring there because i like the movement it gives it i don't know why it just it looks 
I think it looks and works quite well. Right, it's Saturday evening. Um, no carp, no catfish, but we caught a massive pike. I had a quick go for pike for an hour. We have we've already got a video out on this actually. Go and check out my YouTube channel or Facebook. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with that pike. It's probably the biggest pike. It was £22, probably the biggest pike I'm going to catch for this whole campaign, I would have thought. I can't see me getting many 20 pounders. Uh, they're fairly rare for me. Um, but yeah, we really want a carp. We really want a carp. Barry next to me last night did catch a catfish. I think it was around 52, 53, something like that. Yeah, they're lovely creatures, but the calf are my game. You wouldn't want to be a roach, would you? <laughs> you wouldn't, mate, would you? Nah, scared of death, wouldn't they? Go on, buddy, off you go. So they are still on the feed, the catfish. Um, it is fairly warm, even though the weather is horrific. It is fairly warm, but um, yeah, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Weird looking carp. 62 pound. <laughs> that is a 62 pound catfish. Look at the mouth. It's not what we wanted in the rain on a Sunday morning. But it's what we've got. Jesus. Absolutely exhausted. Right gang, I'm gonna pack up. I've had that cat this morning and I was covered in slime. I've got a new change of clothes on, but um, yeah, he's gonna tip it down in a minute. I need to pack up really quickly. I'll show you around. Look, the wind's just destroyed my whole peg. But we haven't had a carp, but we will next time. Come and give us a subscribe. We will be back and hopefully it'll be a bit drier.